today I am so excited to have this guest. It's been on my bucket list and, and prayer list that she would grace us with her presence. And not only is she doing that, but she has brought with her hot off the press new book finally available to you. And it's called Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace. Woo! You just feel God's presence just when you say it. So, Kathy, thank you for being here today. Thank you. God bless you. I'm oh. so honored to be on your show. Well, you are a powerhouse for God, and you are just a birther of books and a minister, and I love how bold you are and fun and and black and white. <laughs> there is no gray, and you tackle hard topics and things that aren't always talked about in pulpit ministry because sometimes pastors are trying to do a message that applies to the, the masses mm -hmm. and deliverance and the prophetic and intercession and inner healing and so many of the things you've tackled are, and this is one of them. This is a passion of mine, the battlefield of the mind. That's where the root of everything is whether we can't get healed or we can't get delivered, whether we struggle with finances or rejection, it's all a battle in the mind. That's where it begins. It's yes. where the seed gets planted. Okay, so there's many chapters I want us to talk about, but one thing I do, I, I loved this. Um, I'm like, I like her, it's my kind of girl. She, she wrote, this book is payback. <laughs> payback where the enemy of our soul, of your soul, has tried to keep me in bondage. And really that mm. is what our life story is. Okay, is. so let's let's go for the for the payback. This is a resource and it's a manual. And I love how at the end of every chapter you've got things to equip, you've got tools, you've got the proclamations, and how they can implement every truth that you've brought to the surface. So let's talk about. Talk about first, let's talk about the 40 year battle that you had with fear. I had a battle for 40 years. And so yes, it is payback time. <laughs> Every time someone emails me and messages me, texts me and is like, I got free. I'm like, yes, <laughs> you know, because that's what we want. We want people to get free. We don't want to stay in that bondage. And our friends watching don't have to stay in yeah. that bondage. And that's what I want people to know. You can get free. So I just had a lot of negativity in my mind. I was always thinking the worst case scenarios when it came to something physical, financial, and fear would grip and pierce me, Jen, yeah. to the core of my being where sometimes I felt like I was emotionally and spiritually, physically paralyzed for like 36 hours as I'm trying to fight this torment, as I'm trying to capture every thought. You know, in 2 Corinthians, it tells us to capture everything thought. We need to capture it. We need to dismiss it. We need to ditch it. We need to pitch it. But we also need to say, does this thought align with the word of God? And when you study out that scripture, it actually says, does that thought obey the Ooh. Messiah? Ooh. And that, I mean, I feel the heavens <laughs> right now on that as I say it. Does that thought obey, obey the, the Messiah? Messiah? But you see, I wasn't taught that to capture that thought. Yeah. And so I entertained it. I, I allowed it to just really torment and come and to the core of my being. And it wasn't this debilitating fear that every day I was sitting there, you know, in fear shaking because some people do have that. Yeah. But it was just when things would come on, I would fear would grip me before faith. Yeah. Well, and you know, that is very interesting because many believers, if you said, are you fearful? They would say, no, I'm not fearful. And yet, if you ask more questions and you do more of a, a, an assessment like mm -hmm. you've done in the book, then you see, okay, the, an evil imagination or one version of the Bible calls it a, you know, a fantasy that the enemy actually plants things in our mind that haven't even happened, that might never happen. And yet 
then we're gripped. We are vain imaginations, false scenarios, rumination, where our mind goes round and round repetitively in the same negative thought. These are all strongholds that can enter our mind when we don't dismiss them, when we you know, bring them in. And they can become strong men. They can become demonic strongholds that then need to be cast out. Wow. And that's why it's so important for us to grab those early on or as much as we can, or even for me, Jen, 40 years later, yeah. there's hope for everybody. Yes. You know, if I can do it after 40 years, Absolutely. people can do it after 20 years or 70 years. We can have that freedom that Jesus purchased for us. When did you realize Okay, I, I'm. There is a spirit of fear here. When did that really hit you, where you knew I've got to dig deep and and get the Holy Spirit to help me? When I could feel it grip my insides, okay. I'm like something is gripping me. I like to explain it like this. So. A lot of people have anger. You get mad, you yell, you get upset. Yeah. But does that anger like pour out of you like? Who is that monster? Yes. Who was I? Yeah. And so that's what happened with fear. Fear is actually designed to be a good thing, to be a reactionary measure to save us from an accident or things that happen. Danger. Danger, yes. But when we allow that to grip us or that demonic spirit comes in and grips us, you know, fear can come in through a torment, through an accident, through a near death experience, through word curses, through your upbringing, things that were spoken over your life. So I started feeling this fear like pierce me when people would be like, I want to talk to you or, you know, I might have a mole that looked bad and it was just like, oh, you know, could it, it be, you know, it was just like oh, that and you could feel it grip pierce. And then I knew it had to be a demonic entity yeah. because I wouldn't react like this in the natural. And then I had to start casting it out. And I had to go, I went to the Lord, you know, I didn't know anything about deliverance. Yeah. You know, I didn't know about demons. And so I went to the Lord. I spent two years of my life prostrate, Ugh. just whew, worshiping Jesus. Two years. Two years. On your face. On my face. Like literally there were times I'd crawl across the living room floor, reach in my purse, hand my husband some money and say, order dinner for the kids. Because I just, I wanted to be in the presence of the Lord. I was trying to seek my healing and, and deliverance, but I just really wanted to know Jesus. Yeah. I just loved him. I loved the Holy Spirit. And I just really wanted to get to know him. And then they started showing me, you know, this is fear and it's torment and it's a mind binding spirit. And so I had to start casting it out. I had to say, spirit of fear, get out of me in Jesus name. I had to break agreement with yeah. it yeah. because I came into agreement with it not consciously, but subconsciously right. by allowing my flesh, my soul to react in those fearful emotions. 